So this is the device that I bought in hopes of uh, replacing my passport a couple of years ago. And it just didn't pan out. I, uh, I really try to make it work. It's a cool device. Right now you see me here, I'm in uh, Windows RDP, right? And so this is the RDP app with, you know, me remoted to one of my RDP servers. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of intuitive that way. I mean, you can kind of pick it up in your hand and you can use it as like a mini computer. And one of the things that I did with this one is they, there was a, a repo I was following for a while. I think it was WOA. Uh, Surface Duo. If you Google, if you Google that on and GitHub, you'll find the repo where you know somebody installed Windows 10 onto the device, and so I did that. I hacked the bootloader and I did the the Windows 10 install. And I mean, it feels neat. It feels like Windows 10 in your hand, but I mean, it's overheats. It's it's really not stable. It's kind of glitchy. Um, so it was just more of a test thing. But I bought this device hoping that it would like be a mobile programming tool, and you know, for what it's worth, it did it did an okay job, but it's it's too fragile of a device. And I know that because I actually broke a pass, I broke a Surface Duo already, um, as you can see. And so it's very fragile. That was from, that was from actually something on my desk falling and hitting the screen that was like very small. I was very surprised that it broke. And so it's super fragile and it just wasn't that practical right especially on the on the move now this is the best way to use it but you know if you drop it you're going to break that side of the screen um and and so with that you can see that it's kind of glitchy like i didn't mean to do that um it's it's a weird device to to use but this is the best form feel and if you're going to type on this device it feels like a passport it's really quick to type and I often think that if they took this device and they just cut it in half, it would have been a really, really nice device. Um, but the UI and managing the two screens, it just it wasn't it wasn't intuitive. And uh, you know, I'm not the I'm not a fan of of Android really, um, and so that didn't help. But uh, this is the best way to use utilize it. And of course, it's pretty responsive because I have the uh, I have the raw. Uh, Android image on it, so it doesn't have any bloatware. It's pretty, pretty minimal. But yeah, it's it's an interesting device, and I bought it hoping that it would replace the Passport as a mobile device. But that was dreaming because I guess I really fell in love with the QNX software and the keyboard combo, um, and and the two of them. But uh, I thought I'd talk about it. If you're interested in one, you find one for a good price, and and you do a lot of you know content consumption. I could see it being a kind of a neat device you know you have the two screens and you want to watch a video and you know google or instagram on the other one or something maybe that would that would be neat but besides that you know i i didn't really like it this one already cracked on the outside so i put 